Hey guys, I just wanted to show you two quick games I had um, with my Xenagos deck um, against Maelstrom Wanderer. Uh, now both these games, I, I get pretty lucky at my draws, but uh, I don't feel too too bad about it because I'm against Maelstrom Wanderer. Um, so here we go. I have Mana Crypt, Forest, and uh, oh, this is my second game. One second here. Oh no, this is this is the game. Uh, yeah, so... Versus Maelstrom Wanderer. I have Mana Crypt, uh, Jete, and a couple of lands in my hand. Um, it's a pretty good keep. Uh, he's going first, though. So he drops Forest and says go. I drew into Acidic Slime here. I'm pretty happy uh, to draw that against a Wanderer player. So I just look for a uh, for a land. With my Sakura Dry Builder, so I have four mana now. And then I drop my fifth. Uh, kill is forest. I go for the forest because um, Milstrom Wanderer decks all they do is ramp. And uh, if I keep him off green, maybe I can delay him a little bit. Um, he decides that that's the game. The next one is more interesting. This this one just shows, I guess, uh, how fast my deck can be. So not not a great example, mainly because I got uh, Mana Crypt out. Um, so game two. This one is a little more exciting. Um, it, once again, it just shows the power of Wanderer, or the uh, power of Xenagos, rather. Wanderer is always going to be crazy. I don't have to go into detail about how uh, good that that guy is. Um, so he goes first again. Drops first turn thing. Or just uh, land, rather. I draw Dry Darby here. I decide just to play it right now instead of uh, Fierce Empath, because um, I don't want that to come in, uh, I guess, tapped, summoning sick later in the game. So I just take the opportunity to drop down my Jete. Now he does. He does the second turn without doing anything, which makes me think that um, his deck is probably more good stuff than it is ramp. Rarely do you ever see a wanderer deck not drop a first turn thing or a second turn thing, um, just because you want to get wanderer out as fast as possible. I've seen him come out, come out as early as turn two, and uh, and well, now I'm not too afraid. So I take this turn to just uh, invest in the board state. I get uh, my Planeswalker out. So next turn I can have two mana. So I just make a little 2-2 here and attack. So he's going to be... Uh, he's going to be useful, just like Rook. Just two, two mana turn at this point. Um, so next turn, on my turn three, I'll have one, two, three, four, five, and then six mana, um, because I have a mana in my hand. Any crop rotations for Ancient Tomb. Um, now that's what I'm used to seeing in a, in a Wanderer deck. So now I'm getting a little afraid. Um, so he drops uh, just a crappy Sky Shroud claim. So now, on his fourth turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, he'll have for sure six mana and probably seven, depending on what's in his hand. Um, that means there's a two-turn clock from Wanderer if he puts only one land down a turn. Like, if he gets a uh, Mana Crypt here, it's it's going to be game over for me. And that's just how Wanderer decks are. They're just freaking insane. Um, so, I put out my Blood Bright Elf. Uh, I don't activate Xenagos before, because I knew there was a good chance I'd get a uh, Mana Dork. And I do. So I'm pretty happy to see that guy. Um, I cast him cast or get her on the battlefield and then now I have with Shrine to Nykthos enough mana to attach my Jite. And drop Fierce Empath. And I go for Terracidon here because if he doesn't drop his uh, his guy next turn I can significantly uh, shorten the or lengthen the amount of turns it takes for him to get him out. Uh, it took me a while to decide here because on my next turn 
I reliably had 11 mana. Um, so that's enough to get Xenagos and something else out. But uh, but I just went for Jurassodon. I, I felt it was a safe play. I also had Domri in hand, so uh, I knew I could get rid of one of his elves. Or his uh, elephants that I gave him. Now I screw up here by not attacking with my 2-2 Seder. But it's okay, I guess. So he takes a time to drop Oracle. Or I shouldn't say takes a time. He uses his turn to drop Oracle. Gets a land on top. And then puts away the Signet. And I see Bribery on top. So now my main goal is just to uh, to stop him from Bribery mana. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. He also has 8 mana to get Wander out. But I mean, if there's any deck you want to cast Bribery on, it's, it's, it's gruel good stuff. There are some fatties in my deck. So I attack first to see if I can trick, trick him into uh, blocking my uh, Blood Raid Elf. Of course, I knew there was little chance that he would, but... Uh, oh boy. Oh, there we go. So I attack. And once again, I should have attacked with my Seder. Uh, he doesn't block. So I spend the uh, counters to get rid of Oracle. Um, and then I just cast Terracidon, and I cast Terracidon before I activate Xenagos, so I can have enough mana to, excuse me, put out Domri Raid and Song of the Dried. So I kill his two blue sources and, and one of his other mana. And then I... Get more mana. I make my elephant fight one of his little elephants, and then I turn one or his ancient tomb into a forest. So now he has four mana uh, on turn on his turn five. So I'm feeling pretty good because uh, I, I stemmed the first tide of sort of wanderer aggression. Um, he drops command tower here. Not too happy to see that. And he drops another sky shroud claim type thing. Uh, with Convoke, and <laughs> goes for two blue. So now I know I'm facing a, uh, a Brabbery next turn. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good, although I draw a land here, and then I use Domri to see only a land on top. Um, I can make my guys fat. Uh, so I, I, I plus one uh, Blood Braid Elf, or sorry, plus two or rather with the, uh, the Jete trigger. And then I give her Xenagos' ability, because he's he's already going to block Terracidon, in my mind, and now he has to block Blood, Blood Braid Elf, so I can just get my other guys through. Uh, so I attack. Now I do attack with my Seder. Blocks. He blocks. I didn't actually expect him to block the 2-2, uh, so now I get 9 damage in. Um, I don't know if that mattered much to the game. And then I just minus one as Elephant with uh, Blood Braid Elf. But I, I, I don't know if it was the right play for him. Maybe he was afraid that I would get one more mana, but if, if you look at my mana it, uh, situation right now with Nykthos, he would understand that mana is not my problem. My problem is killing him before he can kill me. So he... Uh, I don't know what he does there. What does he do? Maybe the game is bugging. What did he do? Okay, well, we can just assume that he did something. No, doesn't doesn't show doesn't show what he did. Um, I, I'm thinking the game bugged because right here. Okay, I remember the game is bugging because right here I remember he had all his mana up, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I thought for sure, for sure, he had Cyclonic Rift. Um, this is too bad, because I believe at this point um, he, he didn't actually put down a land next turn. Uh, so I I plused Bloodbraid and then gave her Xenagos' ability again. Um, before I attacked, he put Pestermite down to shut down Bloodbraid Elf. So I attacked with everything else, reducing him to 4 life. 
Um, and then on his turn, he used Bribery, and I have Kiki Jiki in my deck, so I immediately killed his Pestermite. Um, and then he just went for a Bellfire Dragon and uh, realized that he couldn't win with four life and a Bellfire Dragon, and he concedes the game. It's too bad that bugged out, but uh, you get the gist of it. It was only two turns longer. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this just shows how, I guess, fast Xenagos can be. Maelstrom Wanderer, he's always going to be better than Xenagos, but uh, Xenagos at least can stand his ground. Um, luckily, I draw mana, luckily, rather, I drew mana crypt in both those games, and I was able to disrupt his land base in both those games as well.